messaging me. Asked, I feel like you would like this. Good morning. Um, you guys. Oh my god. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion beauty and health and wellness videos, and I am currently on Thanksgiving break um, in Florida, visiting my mom and her partner. And yeah, we're doing the thing. Uh, which also, I said the partner wasn't hot in the Thanksgiving episode, but I don't know what else to call him, so that's what I'm referring to him as. But um, I just did a meditation, drinking some H2O. I got a really nice night's sleep last night, and I'm about to do a little Tasha, and then I think we're gonna go get coffee. So. That's the plan, but I just wanted to intro the vlog. Also, you guys, I think I'm in my shrimp era. We had shrimp last night, and I was really into them. They were really good. So, yeah. showered and we're gonna go over to there we have someone else coming to say so that was my bad but um playing musical bets but anyways we're gonna go over to the palm beach girl to pick up dinner we're gonna do takeout tonight we were gonna go there um but since we have someone coming in at like 6 30 we were like we should just get takeout and then have dinner for them when they get here but anyways i had a situation happen like yesterday and then into today that i kind of wanted to talk about um and basically long story short i was dealing with something with a client which i know you guys want to hear more about freelancing i'll definitely get to that but i'm going to talk about this just because it's like hot on my mind right now um but I had a situation with a client last night where the client basically asked me to do something that, or they didn't ask me to do something, they reached out to me about doing something that they had thought they made it clear that I needed to do and I didn't, it wasn't in our contract so I assumed that it wasn't something that I should do. I guess that doesn't really like matter for the story but anyways. I was stewing so hard over it. This person reached out to me at like almost 5 p.m. I responded about 10 minutes later at like five. They didn't respond to me until today. And I was like freaking out last night over it. We got back from dinner and I was talking to my mom and I was like in tears and I was like, I'm just really worried. Like, I just wanna be doing a good job for them. And she was like, Mary, like you have to, you make yourself sick when you didn't even do anything wrong. And like you freak out Oh, you, you get this like deep shame that comes out when something goes awry and maybe not even something goes awry when something like there was a miscommunication or if something like someone didn't receive something as well as I wanted them to receive it. Like I literally will like be so hard on myself about it and stew over it and literally just like honestly just like obsess over it and my mom was like mary you need to like give yourself some more compassion because like first of all how would you have known that she wanted that and second of all like she's not gonna like drop you she's not gonna like it's like thinking you're gonna get arrested when you walked on the wrong side of the lake front path i don't know that's a bad analogy but anyways like she was like you just go from zero to 100 so quick and she was she said it in a nicer way than that but she was like honestly like i think this is something that maybe sorry my face is like really red because i just got out of the shower but she was like but maybe you need to talk about because i think a lot of people deal with it and it's almost like 
how I described it to my mom was I was like, I mean, so I've had this OCD since I was really young and I've learned how to deal with it. And honestly, recently it started to like come out and be displaced in my work where like I will have to check things like multiple times. I will convince myself that I didn't do things that I very clearly did do. I will convince myself that people are mad at me. Like, and I feel like I do a really good job of hiding things like that. But I think there are two points I want to make. First of all, if you are a freaking overthinker and really hard on yourself and just like really struggle to give yourself grace, I understand and I'm here with you. And second of all, like realizing that like we're all just humans and like we all have these things. And I was talking to my mom and she was like, Mary, you do such a good job of hiding it. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I think about like if this woman that I'm working with knew how much I was doing over this, she would be completely and utterly shocked. She would be like, oh my God, like she is really taking this seriously. And of course too, like the situation, totally got it worked out today. Totally fine. Freaked myself out over nothing. And, but it's just a testament to like, you never know what other people are going through, but also like if, if you overthink and are hard on yourself, like, which I think most of us do, but if it's one of your faults, like, let's start giving ourselves compassion because it's something that I really, really want to work for, work on in the new year is like to catch those negative thought patterns as they're happening so I can rework and rewire and create more positive thought patterns. So anyway, it's just, just food for thought, but I'm going to go see if my fam is ready and then we're going to get off. I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Good morning, you guys. It's my final morning. I just walked into that door. It's my final morning here in Palm Beach. And I'm gonna grab a coffee. But I just did my meditation. I'm gonna go for a walk with my mom and then we're gonna jump in the sea. I'm so excited. And yeah, I slept until 6 a.m. And then I woke up. And now it's about 6.37. My mom and I are going for a walk in 30 minutes. So I'm making my coffee. I'm gonna do a Tasha. And we'll go. Hello, you guys. Home, unpacked, showered. It was honestly such a lovely time. And I didn't vlog at all on Thanksgiving because I was just present with my family, which was really honestly needed and nice. But I'm just so grateful for you guys. And I'm so grateful for our community. And I hope you guys know that, like, seriously, I'm so grateful from the, for this from the bottom of my heart. And I love YouTube so much and I love the community we have here. I'm just so grateful. So I'm gonna look in the fridge and see what all we need and then we're gonna go to a grocery restock. But I love you guys. Um, I'll show you what we get when we get back. Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna make a coffee and talk to you. I not and yet showing you guys what I got at the grocery store. You guys, I was literally so tired yesterday. I don't know if I've ever it, well okay, I've been more tired. But I don't know if I've been more tired in the past few years. Like I was wiped out and I don't even know why, because it's not like I like I slept pretty well. I just got up relatively early. But it was just very interesting. So, yeah, I slept for like 12 hours last night, literally, until from 9.30 p.m. until 9.30 a.m. So, that was really nice, honestly. And does anyone else get travel sets? It is what it is. When I was in Florida, my mom was like, you need to push that in. Cause I got it from traveling down there. And I was like, no, I honestly am in the era with sits where I'm not touching them. Like I'll put a little bit of benzoyl peroxide on, but I'm not gonna start messing with it because then they spread. 
they get angry. You just have to treat them with respect, you know? Politely, no. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna do a little Tasha action. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I just wanted to end it with a little chat about how, like just, I feel like being in Florida, I'm gonna stretch while I talk. Being in Florida with my mom and my sisters and not with my dad, my parents are divorced and I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot like more difficult than it was because it's the first holiday that we've spent spent apart since my parents got a divorce six years ago. Um, but I think I just, more than anything, had so much gratitude for like, first of all, that my parents like are as close as they are. Because I feel like a lot of people's parents, they get a divorce, don't like talk to each other. And I just think that that's really sad. And second of all, it made me like really excited for this like new chapter that my mom will be starting in Florida. And like honestly that we all will be starting in Florida because like my sisters are going down for New Year's and I was going to and I was talking to Blake about it. And I was like, honestly, I think we should just be here. Go to Gilt Bar and chill. So we're gonna stay here for New Year's and then I'm going down two weeks later. So like there are time, like we're just gonna be spending a lot of time down there and it's really exciting. And especially like since I was born in Palm Beach and now they have this place on Singer Island. Like it just feels like kind of the world is like, it's coming full circle. Like literally when we were out running errands in Palm Beach, two different people, my mom ran into that she knows from when we lived there 20 years ago. It's just like so crazy. Um, but it just made me really grateful, like feel a really profound sense of gratefulness. And whether like I've made it a parent on here or not like my youtube channel and building this tiny but mighty community and just like getting to know you guys and putting things out there has been really healing for me in terms of like my parents divorce and really healing for me because like let's be real i think things like that can really do something to a kid's confidence and i think that putting this type of content out there has really helped me in terms of just like becoming the young woman that I wish I had when I was little to look up to, you know? Um, so, yeah. Cheers. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to end it with that because it's been on my mind, but I love you guys so much. Um, I'm gonna start a new vlog. I'm gonna, I wanna get this up today and then I'll start a new vlog probably this evening. And we'll just like really break down getting back into a routine because yesterday you guys, I was so tired that I literally sat on the couch on my phone on the real rail for like two hours, which I never do shit like that, but I was just like tired. Um, and so I feel like I haven't really gotten back into a routine since being getting home. I mean, I got home literally like 20 hours ago but that's what that vlog will be um i'm gonna do some stuff for work so i'm gonna break that down for you guys talk about freelancing um because i was very surprised you guys want to hear about it which like i am a huge proponent of it so we'll talk about it later but yeah okay i love you guys so much i hope you had the best thanksgivings sending so much love to you your families this holiday season Okay, I'll see you in my next one. Should I do Vlogmas? I'm thinking about it. Let me know if I should do it, knowing that the vlogs will definitely be shorter. Like if I do Vlogmas, each vlog will probably be around 10 minutes because I think they just will. And also knowing that I live a very repetitive life. So we will be going to walk home every day. I'll probably do some work. I will maybe go to yoga, maybe teach yoga. Let me know. I'm open to doing it. Okay, love you. Bye.